After a brief hiatus, it's time to compare my custom minifigures to Legos, this time featuring Ant-Man and the Wasp. As you can see, these two have gone down in history as being some of the most impressive minifigures Lego has ever produced, the helmets being absolutely astonishingly awful, and starting with Ant-Man, I absolutely could not believe it when Lego opted to repurpose the already inaccurate Ant-Man helmet for Ant-Man and the Wasp in 2018. No idea how their budgeting works, but this was definitely a shame. A lot of people are saying that it still looks like Ant-Man's helmet. You just need to fill in the center. I beg to differ, which is of course, as you can see, why my minifigures helmet is a lot different from Legos. And my custom crafted one required a heavy amount of modding to get the red visor in place before sculpting over the front to shape the lenses so that they would be the accurate shape as opposed to the round one on Legos while also keeping the eyes still mostly visible, which was my effort to make this helmet more accurate than ones I had made in the past. Also, I have to give credit where credit is due. Lego printed a fantastic torso and set of legs. Like I mentioned in my review of the set, it's just the helmet and even the head underneath, which was actually, I think, Henry Turner's head from the Pirates 5 sets last year that just really didn't work. This is also why I took an Ezra Bridger head from Star Wars Rebels and repainted the eyebrows, painted a stubble on dot for dot along with the neck armor so while the printing on legos is really fantastic it's just the helmet and the head that were so disappointing but the wasp is just downright iconic now i mean this minifigure going down in history for how bad it is it is just a, a mind-blowing how lego looked at wasp's helmet looked at their budget and just didn't want to make any adjustments. Who knows what actually happened? I definitely don't, and I'm just speculating, but to repurpose an invincible Iron Man helmet for the Wasp, I, I still don't know what to say to that. Her helmet is angular. There are antennas on the sides. It is nowhere close to whatever the hell this is supposed to be. Now I know there's a Firefly helmet coming out for the DC sets in 2019 and some speculate that maybe they couldn't make that helmet in time for the Wasp and so they used it for that random character. But still, the helmet that we got in the actual set is just so bad. And on top of that, they gave her fairy wings and I will never get over that because you had the Parademons in Justice League which had wings much more suitable to that of the wasp but instead we got Tinkerbell wings and it's hilarious my custom wasp obviously being a lot different you can see that similar to Ant-Man I performed some pretty heavy amounts of modding to insert a trans yellow visor into the front of a heavily drilled out Ant-Man helmet so I was at least able to use Lego's Ant-Man helmets to make better ones but it was definitely one hell of a process that probably wouldn't have even been necessary had Lego actually made decent helmets for two now very well recognized Marvel heroes. Other than that though, the wings on mine you can see were obviously much different because I used action figure plastic and traced out my own wings while painting on every single dot on the texture that you see on them. And I am so glad that I still picked up this set though because it has been so much fun railing on those two minifigures. And I understand so many of you watching this video who really aren't as invested in the making of minifigures as I am are probably like, why? Uh, why, why, why are you being so harsh and so negative? Negative, but it, ultimately it, it's just the helmets um, and, and the fairy wings on the wasp that I honestly find to be really inexcusable. So at some point I hope that if the budget was the issue with the Ant-Man and the Wasp set that Lego would redistribute resources to making uh, helmet molds where they're needed as opposed to random pieces for themes like Nexo Knights where maybe they aren't necessarily as needed over there. And actually at the time of posting this video I should be coming back from Brick Fair Virginia 2018. Hopefully I had a great time with with everybody there and hopefully it won't be my last but either way if you want to keep up with me and future projects like Venom my upcoming Clone Wars 10th anniversary minifigures and another project that I have yet to announce definitely check out my Patreon where I post all the progress photos of the minifigures as I work on them first before posting the preview photos of them over on Twitter Facebook and Instagram before ultimately posting the showcase videos here on YouTube and
And so those are all things that you can check out if you want to or don't. It's fine. I'm going to go though. And Infinity War comparisons will be continuing. Of course, the movie is now out on digital. And so that is awesome. And so of course, all of you guys are, I'm sure, back in the Infinity War mood. So I will be bringing those comparisons videos back so we can finally finish up the last couple of videos in that specific part of the series uh, for Infinity War. So it should be pretty great. And I will see you then. Thanks for sticking around. All right. Bye-bye.